I'm an environmental engineer, uh, but uh, most of my work is related to transportation. What I do is I work with uh, municipalities or state government and sometimes even with federal government in trying to develop either strategies, policies, new plans for different modes of transport. So that could be things like walking and cycling plans or strategies for different councils. It could be looking at uh, efficiency in transportation with respect, to, with respect to energy and emissions. A lot of it is gathering technical information, doing the, ana the analysis related to that, and then writing technical reports that then support those different uh, government agencies in developing transportation plans, strategies and policies. From a professional perspective, I think I was looking for a new challenge in my career. Uh, an English-speaking country, of course, was a, a something that was important for me, and uh, but also a place that, from everything that I had been able to do some research on my own, but also check with other people, seemed like a place where the economy was growing and where there would be lots of opportunities, particularly in my field with respect to environment and transport. I think there's probably two key things. One is we look for uh, clear technical expertise in areas that we have a need. So in Jose's example, for example, his environmental engineering degree from MIT in Boston, he brings clear technical expertise that we really needed in-house and that's of significant value to us. The second part, I think, is his international experience. So when we have overseas employees join us here, we get real-world example experience from overseas and Urban Trends does innovative sustainable transport planning. So we like to bring examples from around the world of what cities around the world are doing uh, to solve transport problems in their cities. So having people from overseas is great. We get their local experience uh, in North America, Latin America, Europe, Asia, what are the cities in other places doing? We can bring that experience to Australia and we find great synergies when we have our overseas experience folks working with our Australian employees. Uh, bringing together different ideas from Australia and from overseas that benefits us all internally and it also benefits our clients. When Urban Trends looked to first bring in someone from overseas, uh, we had to get our arms around how did the visa process work. So it took us a little bit to figure out what were the steps, who did we need to contact, where could we find help, etc. Once we figured all those things out from that point forward, the process has been very, very easy for us, quite streamlined. Uh, we got a lot of help when we need it. Uh, it's been overall fantastic once we figured out that the early phases of it.